Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. And today we're taking a look at the Hyper Function LBX Emperor. Now this kit is something of a marvel in my opinion for the fact that, you know, the LBX line is not really of high tier quality, but when you go into the Hyper Function line, it almost acts as a real grade, just not with all the cool little gimmicks. Now, if you do want to pick up this kit or any other LBX kits, you can go to NewTypeBasicQ.com and you can use that promo code Krosama for that one-time purchase of 10% off. So, let's get to the review. Now, starting off with the skeleton frame, it is extremely detailed with lots of fun little gimmicks and it looks really cute. It's kind of like a metabot. It also displays a large range of articulation in the joints such as the shoulders, the elbows, as well as the knees. Now the front cover of the chest piece can actually come off and it's going to display the core memory of the LBX. Also the eyes as well as the hands are stickers which is a little bit unfortunate because you know I would prefer my kids to have as minimum stickers as possible. Um, the eyes are not bad but the hands you're probably going to want to paint those so mask the parts off and just paint it in a nice little gray. So once you have all the armor snapped into place, this kit turns from a really cool skeleton frame to a monster of a suit. And as you can see from bottom all the way to top, this kit is pretty much anime accurate to the T. A couple of stickers here and there, but nothing really drastic. And one thing I absolutely love is that they do away with the paper cape and they give you this nice cloth one and it just stands out so much. Now in terms of details, this thing is not going to have like really any fine detailing. It's not going to have any panel lines or much of panels in the first place, but it does have some interesting features and that's mostly going to be in the arms and legs. Now one thing to notice is that the eyes are going to be this gray color. Personally, I would recommend maybe going a gold route just to kind of give it a better aesthetic or even green. I think that would look a lot better and it's just going to give it a little bit more, I would say, personality than just the plain gray that kind of just matches the inner frame. And you're also going to have a clear piece that's going to go over the center chest and it's going to have a M. Now for all my LBX fans, I don't remember exactly what that represents or what that's supposed to mean. So if you can, let me know in the comment section below exactly what that center piece is supposed to be meant for. Now for the arms, I do love them. I love the shoulders especially because those spikes are going to make this suit look super menacing and that's pretty much what this suit was in the beginning it was a rival suit i would say not really a villain but the character did kind of just get in bond's way so yeah and kind of kind of like semi anti-hero rival kind of character and lastly for the legs i think they look phenomenal i love the spikes on the feet i love the just like knee parts that has the little red in the center i don't know man it looks fantastic the red is just it's it pops it you know the purple with the black with the red amazing colors for this suit so yeah i'm i'm in love with it now in terms of articulation it's not really going to be too much different from when it had the armor off uh but some parts are going to be restricted but for the head you are going to be able to go up and down and basically all around you're still going to have that little ball joint for the shoulders and the shoulder armor can go up and down bicep swivel multiple points of articulation right here at the arm so you can get some really nice bend Ball joint for the wrists, ball joint for the wrists, ball joint for the body. The skirts are going to be all on pegs so they can move just a little bit. Ball joint and socket right here for the hips. So not going to have the best of spread, but it's an okay spread. Leg swivel and two points of articulation right here at the knee. Ball and socket for the foot so you can get some good pivots. A toe bend and the cape is going to be on a peg. Now for the hands, you are going to have two fists that can actually hold an accessory such as its hammer. Two hands that tilt and can actually hold the mace, but it looks like you're just giving thumbs up, so a And one open, kind of claw looking hand. Now something to note is that you don't get any armor for the back of the hands. You're going to have to use the only two that comes with this kit, so swapping in and out is going to be what's going to have to happen. Now the only weapon that's going to come with this kit is going to be the hammer and it looks phenomenal. All this except for the center light blue. These are all parts that are just laid on top of each other. But that blue, all that is stickers. But it doesn't look bad. Honestly, it looks pretty good. So I don't really have any problems with it being stickers and the color separation on this thing is just, you know, splendid. Now you're also going to have this sticker sheet, but 
I didn't use it because, you know, I, I'm really considering painting this kit. So I didn't want to put the stickers on there and have to go through the hassle of taking them off. So I just left them off all together. And if I do decide to paint them, then I might use these. But if I do find some water slide, you know, decals for LBX kits, then I'll just go ahead and buy those. So like I mentioned before, the hammer is going to have a lot of weight in the front. So you're not really going to be able to keep it off the ground. It's pretty much just going to fall there unless you do some reinforcement to the joints. But I don't think it looks like bad at all if it's just sitting on the ground. Now, if you use the other hand, you could possibly get some better poses, but you know, you just gotta work with it. And if you utilize a stand, you can actually have him perform a special attack routine, which is gonna be the ground breaker. Looks really good, and you know, if I did have a couple of extra stands, I probably would just leave it like this, but I'm more likely gonna keep him on the ground. Now, honestly, for my final thoughts. This kit is just, it's amazing. I really regret not getting into the LBX line when I was a lot younger. I really should have. I just didn't like the aesthetics at the time. I was really into Gundam. But now that I'm much older, I actually appreciate the culture, goddammit. And I'm going to get into this super hard. I've already finished the first season. I'm about halfway done with uh, W. And I'm going to be getting into Wars fairly soon. So I'm going to complete the anime. Hopefully I'll finish the game maybe sometime this year. And I do want to collect as many kits as possible. And thankfully Bandai is doing a lot of re-releases. So that is always a plus. And with the Nemesis coming out next month. Man, the, the hyper-function line is just looking phenomenal. And we also got the new Odin that just came out. So, I got a lot of hyper-functions to build. And hopefully the E-Free is going to be around the corner and so on and so forth. But, hey, that's it for me, guys. Definitely appreciate all of you for watching. And I hope you're enjoying LBX Month. If you have been building, please let me know in the comment section below. And also post on social media. And don't forget to use the hashtag LBXFebruary so that way I can find your post a little bit more easy on social media and I can comment on it as well as feature it at the end of the month. Really excited to see all your builds. I know a lot of you are doing some spicy stuff so excited to see all that as well. But I'm about to go ahead and start building another LBX because I'm addicted. <laughs> Straight up. But thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.